Hey everybody, welcome to another video with Matt. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cool, rustic style tray. But first, you'll need a few things. Alright, to get started on this project guys, you will need one full size pallet. You need a circle saw or a miter saw, either one. You need a tape measure, a speed square, an impact driver drill combo. You need to get some half inch screws or you can use nails and if you're going to use nails you'll need a hammer for those nails. You need a pen or pencil, small drill bit for pre-drilling holes, the wood clamps are optional, you may or may not need them, a set of handles and all the cuts we're going to do guys is we're going to cut eight pallet slats at 19 and a half and then we'll cut one pallet sideboard exactly in half the same time twice guys so we'll go over that in the video. Alright guys, so to get started on this project today, you're going to need to have at least one pallet that has the style brackets just like this on the top and bottom, not like the one in the middle. You need the one with the style like this, that's for picking up with a forklift. And then what we're going to do guys is just cut off the boards off of this right here and off the bottom. And then what we're going to do is measure from this end to that end and record that measurement. And then we'll come right here and we will measure from that the same measurement cut that board here and we'll do that on the same side over there all right so once you got your two boards nicely cut just like that what we're going to need to do now is take some slats off of the leftover pallet and we need to cut out eight boards at 19 and a half inches guys so once you get your eight boards cut out you just want to take two of them just stick them out of your way for right now and then what we are going to do is lay our boards across just like that and just like that you want to make sure you are lined up nice and flat on this one end down here and over here kind of just line them all together now if your slat boards just be a little bit longer you may have to trim this edge down guys because what we're going to do is we're going to mount all of these boards to these pallet pieces right here just like that all right we'll flip it over to do that and use some little nails and stuff but then what we're going to do after that is take our other two boards and those will be for our sides guys so what we need to do first like i said is go ahead and get all of this attached to our two main pieces and last but not least, you're going to need to get a pull handle set, guys, and these can get expensive fast. Luckily for me, I found this at a thrift store for only $2, so I suggest going to a thrift store or maybe like a Habitat for Humane type of store and find stuff like this for way cheaper. But you want to make sure you get the skinny kind, just like these right here, because if you don't, they probably won't fit on the spacing of your sideboards right here so just make sure you get the skinny set so now we got everything to start putting this project together all right so the next thing that i want to do before we start assembling everything guys is you just want to line them up make sure you got your nice pretty side facing up because most of the time with pallets there's an ugly side and a good side make sure your good side's facing up just like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to drill some holes maybe just two holes on the sides of each slat away from these like nails that we had cut out right and we're going to do that on that side also that's just going to help us put together the project a little quicker when we can just put the nail and tap it right on in all right so like i said now we're just going to flip over our two main boards right here flip them upside down you'll make sure you get your nice straight looking edge facing outward on both of them right then we'll take start with our first slat right here now you can use wood clamps if you need to to assist you but i don't think i'm going to need them for this guys i'm just going to hold it nice and tight and hammer my nails down here and here and then we'll just go and put the next slat on one after another Alright, so now we've got all of those put on right there, so we're just going to flip it up onto its side, and keep in mind these are the tops of the tray, guys, so now you want to take one of your last two boards, and you just want to stick it across right there, and line it up with each edge nice and flush just like that and then you can go ahead and drill you some holes shoot you some screws whichever one you're using so i'm gonna go ahead and drill me two little pilot holes here and two over here attach that 
and then we'll flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright guys, so now that we've got all of that built right there, we need to go ahead and measure from this inside board to this inside board, and in my case I had 20 and a half, so then you need to measure from one end and then mark 10 and a quarter for your center marks on both sides, and then what you need to do is take your handle that you're going to use, right, and you just want to measure that right there in case this right here is about 4 inches. So you want to line it up about two inch mark right there. And then you just want to throw you a little mark here and a little mark right there. And that'll kind of tell you exactly where you need to be for the center of your tray with your handle. So do that on both sides and then go ahead and mount those handles to your boards. And on the handles that I picked up, guys, you'll notice they're like for a cabinet style where you stick it up in a hole and you put the screw behind. Well, I won't be able to do that here. So what I've done is I just sat there and I took a small drill bit and I kind of just pitched it flat at an angle right here this way. And on this outside lip part right here and just drilled me some holes in it. That way it'll allow me to screw it face down to the board. Alright guys, there we go. It is now complete. Got our handle screwed down. Got everything together now. So the options are up to you where it comes to these shelves, guys. You can make these things a little shorter. Shorter this way. You can make them any size that you want to. Some people even make little divider compartments like a little T style so that they can have different compartments in this. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to hit that like button down below for me, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Peace.